In this video, we're going to focus on the Chart.js Data Labels plugin, and we want to customize it. And what I mean by customizing it, you can see here we have these labels shown here at the very top, and we have here at the bottom, or at least the blue bar, has labels which are rotated, and we have this green line here that doesn't have a data label at all. So that will mean that we are customizing them for every specific data set. Let's explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to customize data labels for a specific data set in Chart.js. So what we're going to do first of all is to create our basic chart. So for that we need a default code. Make sure you go to chartjs3.com, getting started. Then scroll down here and get this chunk of code here. We're going to copy all of this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. And then what I will do here, I'll just paste this in here. And once I did that, I'm going to cut out this title, replace that with this one here, save that. And then, oh, and then refresh here, there we are. So what we have now is basically a basic uh, bar chart. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to create, of course, the stack bar chart, and then we put a, a combo line between there. So for this, First of all, here we have to make another data set. So I'm going to copy this, say here, comma, paste that, and then we do another one. So what I will do here is I will get the green one here. And this will be for specifically for the line. So I'm going to cut out this. I'll just convert this here. All right. And this will be the uh, line, the green line, green line. And we can just remove this, no need for a border with everything else we'll just maintain. Next, what we'll have here, this will be the uh, red line. So the red line will be this one, so, or sorry, not the red line, but the red bar. And then we have another one here, we'll just put it like that. And finally here we have the blue bar, and the blue bar is the second one here. Put that in there, put that in there, save it and refresh. All right, so now we have these data sets here, so we have to con we have to convert them. Let's make this stacked. And then this one needs to be converted into a line. So for, for the green line, I'm going to say here, uh, type equals line, because it's a line chart. And this one here, this will be the red, let's say red bar. And this will be, of course, the blue bar. Blue bar, save that, refresh. All right, so now we have one part done. Final one here is to create a stacked bar. So in here, in the scales, x, and then we say here, stack equals true, and then here for the y, stack equals true as well. Make sure you have a comma here, save that, refresh. All right, so now we have this here, and what I want to do here as well is just to make sure that the line is on top of everything, because right now the line is just hidden here. So what I'm going to say here is the order, and I'll give this order one, meaning the top ranking so let's say just think about the olympics this is the gold medal and they here order number two will be the silver medal i guess that would be the best analog for a uh, example here to imagine how this is structured so we have here this one just give this a silver medal as well and there we are so now you can see the gold medal or the order number one has been the top one here all right so now i have this and just for the sake of it i'm going to give this a different value here 24 25 uh, or just yet I'll just make it all 20s save that refresh so this is a very high value and then here we will have eventually the data set so what I'm going to do now is or the data labels plugin I'm going to put in the data labels so just go to cdnjs.com and search for the charges plugin data labels and I'm going to click on this to get the script and the latest version as of now is 2.0.0. So make sure when we're going to add up that the JavaScript library will be loaded first and afterwards we have the other library. Oh, and then make sure, of course, as well, that we, as you can see here, I'm overlapping the script. So I need to be here below. Paste that in there. And the reason why this needs to load first because this here is built based on that. So it has certain variables that needs to be loaded first, which are in Chart.js library, and then after the plugin can load. So if I save this now, refresh, nothing happens yet here. So what we're going to do now is to activate the plugin here. 
comma, and then we're going to say your plugins. And here we're going to say chart data labels. And then make sure the labels here, or the letter L, must be capitalized as well. So it's chart with capital C, data with capital D, and labels with capital L. If we save this, now it has been activated. But of course, here we have an issue. I don't want what we have right now. Because, for example, here, this line here should not even show any data labels. So how are we going to solve that now? Well, the, e the answer is quite simple. We can just go in here, and then what we're going to say here, we're just going to say data labels. And then in here, we can do our command. And here we can say display false. By doing this and saving this, refresh, you can see here now we remove individually from a specific data set the data labels. And next, what we want to do here is let's rotate this with the 90 degrees. And this one, we want to be here at the very top. So what I'm going to do here, I put a comma. And then we say here again, data labels. And this is the red one. Well, let's do the red one later on. Let's do the rotation first because that's easier. We're going to say here data labels specifically for this blue bar data set, column. And then in here, what we can say here, rotation uh 90 degrees so if i save this and refresh you can see here now this has been rotated but you can see here the red one is not being rotated so what i want to do next give this maybe a nice white color and then on this one we'll put it here at the very top so here we can say comma and then we can say your color let's give this a white color save that refresh and there we are so now we have a nice red white color being shown here Let's push this here at the very top on the red bar. So in here, again, data labels. And then here, what we're going to focus on is basically the position. So for the position here, we could say here, first of all, we have to position it at the very top, meaning we need to have the anchor, and the anchor here will be set on the end, meaning that we're going to put it here at the top. If I refresh here, you can see now the position is starting at the very top here. And what I'm going to do, you can see the tooltip is blocking our view so i want to just remove the tooltip here so i'm going to say plugins say tooltip and then just say your uh, enable equals false save that comma save refresh all right so now the tooltip is not blocking anymore so now we have this one here but i want to push it a bit more up so what we're going to do here at the red bar comma and then we're going to say here align and this alignment will be set also to end. Doing this, refresh. Now you can see here, we are now a little bit up as well. All right, that's beautiful, but we're not done yet. Because what I want to do here is I want to make sure that this space here between is a bit more than what we have here now. It's just too few. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just say here, quick offset. Let me put this offset on five pixels, save that, refresh. And you can see here now we have a bit more of the pixels here which is absolutely phenomenal. And next, we're going to do here, let's give it a unique color. So I'm going to say here the color, just for the sake of it. Oh, I don't want to do this, sorry. Let's just see here for the color, I want to just grab the same color we have here. Put that in there, save this, refresh. All right, and then, because this color is nice, but I want to have the font a bit bold, so it's easier to spot. So final item, comma here, I'm going to say a font, and then we can say here the weight, font weight, equals bold. Make sure that this is a quotation because it's a string value. If I do this, save that, refresh, you can see here now this is bold, and what I would like to do as well is make this white font bold as well. So I'm going to just copy this, enter here, paste that, make sure you have a comma there, save this, and refresh. So we have this bold and that one bold here nicely. So basically we're done but what i want to show you is something else as well what happened if you will hit here because this is an issue let's say here we're going to put in here uh, we make this 22. save that refresh and now we have this part here and it hits the top this is very dangerous if you have like this here so let's say here well this is 18 or 9 and then i guess we need to have here plus 22 so that is if i'm not mistaken 31 so let's make this here uh where is that this number 9 will be 31. Uh, where are we? Sorry, that's here. Number 9 should be 31 on the red bar. Save this. Refresh. 
and there you are so now we get an issue here and I want to avoid this issue so how do we solve this well there's a very nice command that is called grace and basically grace indicates to give us some extra space here between so the chart will always have extra space and will never hit the very top so for us we have to do this on the y scale and we say grace and you can say here uh, a five percent grace area basically what will happen then it will give us some extra white space here between and there you are now no matter what the value is you can see here this was just 40 let's make this now uh, 45 so this must be 31 plus 5 uh, where is 31 here up 31 plus 5 now will be 36 save that refresh and now even though if we go up again we get a grace it will always give us a space between this is basically our grace area so it will consider that and will never hit the top anymore so it will never overlap our legend and this is basically how you can use the uh, chart.js plugin data labels to go more advanced and customize every data label for every individual data set so if you like this video and maybe you want to learn more about the data labels plugin in that case I'm going to recommend you one of my other videos or at least an entire series of videos about specifically the chart.js plugin data labels it will cover over 19 different videos covering all, all the things you need to know about this chart.js data labels plugin